Apple re-released the iOS 17.6.1 software update after the regular update, having the build number ending with G93. To install the re-release, you will need a Mac or a PC to download on your iPhone, because the update won't appear if you refresh the software update page. Bring your Mac nearby and connect it using the cable provided with your iPhone. Open Finder in Mac and iTunes on PC and tap on your iPhone menu. You will notice that an update button is present below the software menu, where the latest re-release is available for the 17.6.1 version. Tap on Update. Again, tap on Update. Then tap on Next. Then Agree. And your iPhone will ask for the passcode to install the update. Now tap on Continue, and the update will start downloading, which came to around 8 gigabytes for my iPhone 15 device. I also like to make illustrations using my iPad and Apple Pencil. And here are three iPhone wallpapers I created which you can download for free using the link mentioned in the pinned comment. A prompt may appear to encrypt your iPhone backup. Tap on Don't Encrypt and enter the passcode to continue the update process. Meanwhile, we can look at the modem firmware and available storage space so that we can compare it after the re-release software update. Once the update is installed, a restart notification will pop up on the Mac Tap on OK, and do not disconnect the cable until the restart is complete. Once your iPhone turns on, you can disconnect the cable from the Mac or PC. Now if we go into the settings, General, About, and tap on iOS version, you will notice that the build number has been updated to G101 from the previous G93 update. Also, if you go back, the modem firmware remains the same, but the available storage space has been increased by 400 megabytes. You can also have a look at the time at the start of the update to determine the total update time. I even ran the CPU benchmarks using the Geekbench application, which came similar to the previous update, which indicates that the battery and day-to-day -day performance will be the same as the previous version. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to Tech Loper for upcoming iOS updates and videos on iPhone tech perks that work. See you over there.